Now that I'm done seaming them up into almost a ring shape, I'm gonna work on adding my tops and my bottoms because this is actually a box if you think about it. So I did four sides of my box. I'm gonna do the top fifth side and then the bottom sixth side. When you're looking here, your needle and thread should be coming out of one of your seed beads. You're gonna have four groupings of two of your rizzos on the side and that's how you know that you're at one of the sides. On go, a rizzo and that's gonna skip over the other rizzos and sew on to the 11-0 seed bead. Pull a little tight. Another rizzo goes on into my group of four. And I'm gonna sew through the next 11-0 seed bead in line. The trickiest thing here is making sure that your thread does not grab onto any of the other rizzos. As you add, it's gonna become tighter and tighter. I add another Rizzo, go through the next seed bead. One more Rizzo gets added because I have them out in my piles and then you know that you're done with that row there and I go through the next seed bead. That's gonna close up that whole side. When I flip it over, I still have this other side here that's open and ready to go. The beads are out of the way now, so it's a little bit easier to see on this side kind of the pattern that's happening of those four groups of two. What I need to do is I need to get my thread and needle to this side so that I can close it up like this side of my little sea urchin. So I'm gonna take my needle and just kind of ignore your stop bead for now. I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna sew through one of my rizzos that's next in line. I never want my thread exposed, so I'm going to just kind of move my stop bead out of the way there. And I'm going to sew through one of the 11s next that's in line. Bring my needle out. Again, try not to get any threads mixed up and kind of twisted in there. And now I'm coming up, and I've got to come up another rizzo, and up, so I'm coming out of one of my 11 OC beads. Now I'm at that section again where I have those four seed beads exposed and my eight rizzos. On goes an, a rizzo through the next 11 O in that right angle unit. And just kind of take your needle and force that rizzo up. If you are using the supple max um, or the fishing line, it is going to stick up and be a little bit tighter for you. Again, a rizzo goes on. I sew through my next bead in line. Rizzo on, sew through that next 11 0. Making sure my thread doesn't get caught on any of my rizzos. And then my last rizzo is going to go on and sew through that fourth 11 0 in that right angle corner unit. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to tie my ball and I'm just going to get my threads to the same side by sewing them through. So I'm going to sew them through here so that they're on the same side that I can attach them. On goes a bead, or on goes the thread through the bead, through the rizzo, bead, rizzo, and I'm just basically reinforcing it. So I'm going back through that whole entire row so I can get back through to my stop bead. I'm gonna turn over here and pick up an 11 0 sew through a rizzo as well. Did my 11 0 sewing through my rizzo. And then I'm going to get ready to take my stop bead off. My stop bead I'm going to pull off. Then I'm going to check out where my threads are coming out of. Right now one is coming out here, one's coming out here. I want to get them so that they're coming out to the same side. And then I'm going to tie them off. I'm going to take my needle off and I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to tie two square knots to get it nice and tight. So that way my thread's not going to come undone. You can put these on a head pin, you can put them on to necklaces, you can make kind of anything out of them, but they look really nice when you're looking at them, um, that they can be used for earrings or for the centers of necklaces. You can make them larger with daggers, you can make them smaller with um, teardrop beads as well. So after I'm done that, I could use just a little dab of glue, cut that off, and then I'm left with my little bead here. When you look at it, all of the rizzos should be separated out on the sides with the 11 0 bead. It is a little tricky, like I said, if you haven't done right angle weave before, you definitely wanna watch that right angle weave video. Check out our other videos online too on uh, YouTube and check out our Facebook page as well as our stores. Hopefully you get a chance to go in and take a class up right personal and close rather than right here. But thanks for watching and hopefully you have fun making tons and tons of these little sea urchin Rizzo balls.